So this is one of our favorite properties in portfolio. This is definitely a longer term hold because of strategic location. It's right in the middle of downtown Beaverton and it's right next to the light rail walking distance. So it's transit oriented. And that just creates a very robust leasing community here. So it's just a phenomenal place to live. The floor plans were great. Uh, we took it over, it was really tired and horrible looking. We modernized it by giving it a really nice dark color. We put in all brand new windows and we used white vinyl windows, of course. So it's created a very nice aesthetic. Let's walk up this way. Let me show you the leasing office and some model units. How's everything going here? Fantastic. We're at 98%. That is A+. Plus. We are refinancing right now, getting out of our original bridge loan, putting on permanent debt. And this is going to be a keeper for hopefully a long time to come. This is a great asset. Fantastic. Yeah, this property, just to jump on top of what Max was saying, we kind of went with like an almost industrial vibe. I mean, obviously it's not totally industrial, but that's why we own the woods, the leathers, the concrete floors. You can see the Edison light bulbs over there, the wood on top, just kind of the metal frames around the pictures, everything a little darker. So this area here, which is just behind the office that we just filmed, this was a storage area and it was just basically an empty room filled with materials. So we felt that in this day and age, in a time of Uber amenities, that would be criminal to leave this as storage. So we spruced it up and turned it into a nice modernized, as Simon said, industrial chic gym. Let's take a look at a unit at Huntley. So here we did vinyl plate flooring. Probably looks familiar because this is a color that we use in a lot of our properties. It's extremely popular and it rents very easily. George, say hi. This is George, our newest member of our maintenance team. He's amazing. At, at this property, it was a full gut reno. There wasn't a whole lot that we could save. Um, as you can see here, we did a full kitchen. We used a gray tone kitchen cabinet. Shaker style. Sometimes you'll be looking at kitchen cabinets and you'll hear shaker style or you read shaker style. So that would be this thing here. Um, stone top, a white stone top. Um, we use a thinner stone so we get it a little bit less expensive. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than Formica, but clearly a completely different animal in the way it looks and feels. Um, we undermount our sinks. We use a uh, satin nickel finish, full stainless steel appliance package, and a hood. Nice, modern, 2019 kitchen. Uh, this property did not have hookups, so we ran the plumbing from the shower back here. You'll see uh, these washer dryers are right behind the shower. And we ran the plumbing very inexpensively because it just abuts to the shower. A city where it rains seven, eight, nine months out of the year, this is a huge selling point because you don't have to walk out with your laundry into a laundry room and uh, get yourself wet, your clothes wet, uh, and your kids wet.